Today we're going to be commanding a destroyer during World War II. We're going to be battling the vaunted German U-Boat Wolfpack. This is one of those games that's historically accurate and really going to get you in the seat of a Fletcher class destroyer. U-Boat hunting is an art form in and of itself and we are amateur artists at this point. Our goal is simple, keep the U-boats from sinking our convoy. Now I wanna say a big shout out and thank you to Destroyer the U-Boat Hunter for sponsoring today's video. The game is out right now on Steam and you can find it using the link in the video description below. And without further ado, let's go hunt some U-boats. I don't know which one of you is responsible for this, but someone put me in command of my very own Destroyer. Hello there, Beauregard. Hello there. 5,300 yards. Okay, crew, uh, we've, we've got a U-boat out there, and he's, he's trying to plunder our booties, which, as you know, it's not good for our booties. Are they trying to tell me that there's more than one contact? Guys, we have to protect this convoy. I, I need some better reports. Contact able now bears 295, range 4,800 yards. They are closing the distance, having 300 yards just passed between the last report. I think my best orders that I could give to my crew are hold on to your butts look at this boys range 4600 yards they are closing the distance all right uh give me the con gentlemen uh I wouldn't advise it but I did command it so there is that what do we got what do we got going on here do we see a periscope do we see a sub on the surface nope not at the moment two nine or two two nine or two I captain <laughs> that's me right am I the captain it's a great question and I'm glad you guys asked, but I do not have the answer. Look at me, sure. I'm the captain now. Ship is turning towards Abel. Contact Abel. Now, one of the other things we could do is uh, expedite this process going at two thirds speed. Gentlemen, ladies, members of the jury. No, there is a U-boat out there and we are gonna sink it. And in fact, this might be a U-boat pack, a wolf pack, 289i. Now, we could use sonar, but <laughs> nah, man, that's like some crazy stuff. I'm not mathematically inclined, which is a problem to be in charge of, uh, you know. Look at this. All right, so there's my convoy in the background. This is my beautiful destroyer. Now, this is the thing that we're going to learn the hard way today, is when you get a beautiful machine of war commanded by <laughs> maybe not the best guy, it's, uh, it's going to be exciting. I'm kind of nervous. Like, this game is all about, like, the cat and mouse hunting between a World War II destroyer and the German Undersea boot. Which, no, it's not someone boot thrown in. Oh, I see something. Conning tower of the U-boat. That's it right there. Now, we're picking it up on radar. I'm assuming? Is it the wave swell that makes it look like I can just see the conning tower? I believe they're probably on the surface, which is why we're able to pick them up via radar. I feel like they would have gone to periscope depth. Uh oh, sonar contact, they dove. Okay, then I was gonna try to get like a a, a, a nice broadside using my five inch deck guns on them, but I don't know if that's viable. Now, if I go to full or flank speed, I lose access to my sonar. I don't know why I keep going to the lookout, cause it's like, mate, it's a U-boat. It's, it's under the sea, okay? Let's prepare a shallow pattern. Narrow, destructive, actually broad. We're readying the depth charges, I think. 149, I think I need to adjust my, I need to see my compass. I need to see my compass, man. Dang it, 300 yards, they went under us. Hard turn to starboard, gentlemen. There's the convoy, we've got air support flying overhead, helping us to gain contact. Now, oh man, I think they're gonna fire torpedoes at my ships. All right, we're, we're making the turn. Do we see a periscope? This is where it said it was located. It's at shallow. I mean, it's at a depth that it's probably gonna get really close. Like, you can't hit it with guns if it's under the sea. All right, let's check this sonar view. Let's see what's going on. So, which one of these is the baddie? Contacts, we have three different contacts, guys. There's my ship. This is the enemy contacts, and these are the escorts. Mabel, I could have you go out and check that out, and I need a freaking periscope. I'm so reliant, but I, I commanded this destroyer to head towards me. He's somewhere between us. Fire the depth charges. If we lost contact, that means the sonar lost them. <gasps> Look at the upper right. You see my little depth charges? 
Oh, I think we just missed it. He was going past. Oh, unbelievable. Hey! We tried. <laughs> I mean, that counts, right? Stern. There's the explosions from the depth charges. That's like directly behind us now since we're at 180. My god. Yeah, we definitely missed it. Now, I think at this point, like, I actually want to, like, adjust my speed to one third so I will make the turn, in theory, faster. Let's go to combat and check the situation. These were the last contacts. Use your sonar that way, buddy. This guy's going to the front. Maple's going to engage. Oh, God. No, I, I, I don't want to do that. I don't want you to do that anymore. Three, two, seven, nine hundred. Wake on. I don't know what that means. Awake on the right cut. Oh, does, could that be a torpedo? Wake. Maple is attacked in contact, Charlie. Oh, that looks good. Where are the where are the depth charges? Oh, there's one. Oh, it's going right towards the nose. Oh, this could be good. Please sink it. Oh, come on. He keeps saying 3,100 yards, like questionably. All right, what I need to do then, I want you to, I have, I am, I am overwhelmed with excitement. I think that may have been the one that was trying to like sink the destroyer. Maple made a depth charge attack on oil slick sighted. That is a good sign. Basically, if your depth charges go off, hit a U-boat, stuff's going to float up because, well, you sank it. I think the short one got killed. So, 280, 1200 yards, we could try to intercept that guy. And let's increase our speed to, well, you know what, let's go to standing speed. And by standing, I mean standard, because I, I went to Naval Academy School here, guys. But man, if I could fire my deck guns and try to nick it. Yeah, tell him to slow down, man. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, you slow down. We're going to just ship you on by here. Whoever's in charge of this operation is uh, clearly qualified for this. But that's the beauty of video games. Hey, bud. <laughs> Wave to the frustrated captain who's like, thanks for cutting me off, Baron. Okay. I'm telling him to screen ahead because that's like the dangerous spot. But we got the three. There's two behind us. They're going to have to catch up. If they're going to have to catch up, then they have to get on the surface. So we took one out. I wish I knew which one it was. Let's go to the stern view and see what's up. There's my ships. I'm going too far away. What we need to do then is make a course for let's say 140 so we're making a big turn i need to get back hockey has sonar contact antler also regained contact oh geez okay right here intercept hockey intercept contact able maybe contact charlie was taken out there's the destroyer circling back to intercept the target oh the way the smokestacks are working i misinterpreted where my ships were going i actually need probably to go to able so let's do that zero two zero i feel like i'm gonna be embarrassed going back oh, oh, oh hold on hold on hold on oh it's just wait no, no no that's not a wisp of smoke air support's no longer available i see that's periscope that is a periscope so we're gonna see if this destroyer dumps depth charges because his task was to intercept that one. I've got my depth charges ready. We've got two of us going after this one U-boat. Yeah, estimated depth is medium. Okay, 700 yards, we're closing. Dude, my bl like my heart rate's going. I'm gonna sink this undersea boat. These little jerrys will not be allowed to sink my boats with impunity. Oh, they're dropping depth charges and I'm sailing into it. Because of course we are. You know what? We're doing ours too, man. Depth charges everywhere. Ooh! Boom! Oil slick. One of us got him. There's the oil slick. There's not. <laughs> Look at this mess. So Maple's fighting here. Bravo, I think, was the one that was destroyed by Antler. This hasn't changed at all. These two have. I should have realized this mm, about seven years ago. This is probably my favorite view in that um, it's very busy, especially at this point in the battlefield. I wish we could like erase old track and you might be able to do that. Eraser. <gasps> Thank you, game. Thank you for being glorious. So I'm actually turning around. I need to adjust speed. 
Because look at this. The last known contact was directly ahead of me. So I need to go course 180. I need to go to my 090, I think. Now the ship should start moving this way. I think it's like right under me. All right, let's ready some depth charges. Broad distracting? No, broad destruction. And by that, I mean narrow destructive. See, because he's turning this way. If I go this way and I intersect them like right there, we're dropping them, boys. Ooh, estimated depth deep. We've got we got a diver now. It doesn't look like any of our depth charges are close. Yeah, because he's deep. What kind of ammo do we want? No, I don't want an illumination rounds. We're in the middle of the day. Point detonating rounds sounds good. Now, if they surface to use deck gun, by chance, they won't. We'll get them. Hockey lost contact with Abel. That means depth charges. All right, erase some of the old stuff. I want them to surface, and I want to shell them, but that's probably the least likely thing that will happen here. Well, let's turn the ship a little bit, buddy. We'll turn a little bit. Buddy, I just wanted to give you a little tap on the booty. You know, let, let me know I'm proud of you. All right, you're fighting a good fight. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine here. You know what? Standing speed. Standard speed. I want to hit a close-in view of this uh, transport ship. I assume it's a Liberty ship, right? Those were the ones that we were just pumping out during the war. And by we, I mean the Americans. We lost contact. Oh, okay. Look at, look, we're, we're actually on top of them this time. But I don't know if those just, uh, let's get another batch loaded. Oh, he's taking a hard left. I need to take a hard left. I dropped another batch. I don't know if we're just so far away or what. Surface, you dang U-boat. I think, okay, we've, we've had two oil slick reportings, right? Those are dead. This is the third and final U-boat. I got everybody closing the distance here. All right, we need to get him found again. Oh. But where you look at where the convoy is, we've definitely done a job in terms of like chasing them away. Hey, I think I think they fled. So I mean, as far as our first time out here, commanding a destroyer, we got two out of the three. We didn't lose a single ship. And I I, I feel like you know what? I'm definitely not getting fired. Am I getting promoted? No, definitely not yet. But if you guys want to check out Destroyer, the U-Boat Hunter for yourself, you can use the link in the video description below. And a big shout out and thank you once again to Destroyer, the U-Boat Hunter for sponsoring today's video.